A lot of people rely on their jobs for security and income because they're too scared to work on their business to become financially free. A lot of people also think that the ultra wealthy had it super easy and grew their business to become super rich overnight. That's not how it happens. That can be nothing far from the truth. Businesses are one of the hardest things to start and maintain. Just think about it. How many successful businesses have died overnight because of a few little things? So definitely you need to know that businesses are not easy. They're hard to start, but they can become very rewarding because they can set you financially free in life. The difference between running a successful business and a job is the responsibilities. On a business, you can never stop to think. A business is not owned. It's basically running. You always have to stay on top of things to make sure everything is going good. In a job, you basically go in there and do your same things every single day. Obviously, you have a little bit of supervision, but it's nothing like a business where you have to stay on top of everybody and yourself to become the best and have your business succeed. So the main difference between entrepreneurs and employees is that entrepreneurs work really hard to get really stressed out in the first beginning years, but end up being paid dividends when their business finally becomes successful. Meanwhile, employees work their whole lives just to earn a fraction of what a successful business owner will earn throughout the course of their business. For example, let's look at this quick statistic right here. So I looked this up on Google guys to give you guys a good example and check this out. It says right here, how long would it take to finish Elon Musk's money? Well, it says right here, using the median US income and average per capita personal consumption expenditure and comparing it to Musk's net worth, Go banking rates found that it would take 10,910,641 years and 93 days to become as rich as Elon Musk with just savings. So that lets you know that businesses are not easy, but they can become very rewarding and they exponentially grow compared to just putting your money in savings. That's super slow. It's not going to get you nowhere near to this wealth if you ever even dream of that. Number two, we got real estate. If you are dead set on keeping your job, real estate is probably a safer bet for you because with real estate, you can take some money from your job, maybe save a thousand, two thousand a month, slowly up. And then if you have a good credit score, you can start using other people's money like the banks to start investing in real estate. You can use even hard money lenders, like I said, OPM, other people's money. With that money, you can start flipping houses. And let's say you buy a property for 100000 put 50000 into it, and you can sell it for 300000 You quickly see the gist of how powerful real estate can be. You don't need to start a business. It's low-key a business because you're flipping houses and making crazy profit. So let's say that house you bought for 100000 put 50000 in, and sold for 300000 You just made 150000 If you could do that in six months and your job is only paying you 70000 you just made over what your job pays you in a year in just six months. So you quickly start to see how powerful these assets can become if you do it the right way. I'm not saying you're going to make $150,000 every house flip, but that's just an easy example for you guys to understand. So number three is paper assets. Paper assets can be anything like stocks and bonds. Rich Dad talks about stocks and bonds being easy if you're in a time and money crunch. The reason is because if you don't want to start your own business, you don't want to do real estate, well, you can't just put your money into other people's successful businesses. Now, I would say it maybe is a little slow if you're not earning that much, but if you're earning a pretty decent salary and you save up enough or leave enough over every month or every week to invest into stocks and bonds, you can maybe see yourself becoming a millionaire in 10 to 20 years and it's not really too risky. So number three is a pretty safe bet. Number four, we got commodities. Guys, paper, if you save $50,000 right now, guys, and you wait another 10, 15 years, that 50,000 might might as well be 10,000 with inflation, everything going on. The US is a superpower right now, but you never know if China completely takes it over or another country, who knows? So that $50,000 can quickly become 10, $5,000. Needless to say, the whole point is commodities is basically anything you can trade barter with. And this has been tested through time. People have been trading gold, silver, uh, meat, cows, chickens, things like that. Commodities is basically anything you could trade or barter. Commodities are great to battle against inflation because if inflation rises up, guess what? That commodity price is going to go up. If there's not enough oil to go around and a lot of people want it, guess what? That's going to start going up with inflation. And if you own that commodity, you're going to start making a lot of money selling it. Number five is time. And when I say time, it's basically investing in yourself. You can either be wasting time watching Netflix or you can be using time to invest in yourself, learning new high income skills. So number five is a quick little asset that you can invest yourself in and it takes no money. It's just simply your time and what you decide to do with it. Number six is a quick way to start saving money and stop wasting monies. And that would be staying healthy. Being healthy means not doing vices like smoking, drinking. You go to the club, you quickly start to see how fast you can rack up two, three hundred dollars. And I don't know how many times you guys go to the club, but if you go in every couple weeks, you, that can be anywhere between five hundred to a thousand dollars, maybe even more, depending on how much you spend. So number six is a good asset to invest in your health. Number seven, online assets. Starting a YouTube channel is free, 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 free. 
So what can you do with this online assets when you start growing your following and your community? If you have a resource or something valuable to give the audience, you can quickly see how you can start monetizing your audience. I'm not, selling, I'm not saying be salesy, but I'm saying if your audience is in a certain niche and you're giving something that can help them out, for, and you're providing really good value, why wouldn't they want to buy it from you? Because it's a win-win scenario. And number eight, we got network. Your network is your net worth. Guys, how many times have you tried to apply for a job when you were younger and got uh, accepted to it so much easier because your friend knew a friend knew a friend compared to you applying to these big corporate jobs and you having a tough time getting in? That just shows you how easy networking is you try to get into let's say for example a new career change and you know a friend maybe you don't even have to be that skilled in it they'll put in a good word and boom you're in there so network is everything guys you'll be networking with people that are ahead of you if you network with people that are under you or want to keep you down you're going to stay down you're never going to level up so that's one of the most important assets you can invest in as well that's number eight so guys that's eight assets that rich dad talked about if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe it really helps the channel grow peace out